Hello. Let me know in the chat if you can hear me okay. And I'm going to turn you on my phone here. See, we have a couple people on. Say hello in the chat so I know who's here and can say hello back to you. There we go. Live chat. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Tuesday night and I'm here live on YouTube. So excited to be here. So let me know. Hey, Patty. Hey, I got your package. I haven't looked through it yet because I need to film it. Hey, Rita. Hey, T. All right. So it is Tuesday night here in Michigan. Hello, Annette. Thank you for saying hi in the chat, you guys. Hey, back. Hey, Patricia. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, Tita. So I have ideas of what I want to chat about. Hey, Marty. Did I tell you that my sister lives in San Antonio? I don't know if I told you that. You are neighbors. Yvonne and Pat. Welcome in. Hey, Candy. So I did a Facebook Live today. I don't know if you guys caught that. Um, but I made two things. I made two things today that are bee themed. And I'll show you. These are a couple of our new products that will be available on my website tonight at midnight in just a few short hours. So this is our new mason jar shelf sitter. Okay, it's the white um, painted shelf sitter. We've got this nice mason jar shape that I mod podged some honeycomb looking paper and then did some fabric around the top and some jute twine. These are some new stencils that are coming out as well as this one. These are part of the B minis. I guess while people are hopping on, I might as well just tell you the new products that will be available. There's a lot of them. It's like a lot of the rest of the summer products. So these are the B minis. So you get 12 of them on a sheet. We use this one, we use this one, and we use this one today on the projects. Favored you and thought of you. I hope I met. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. I was in San Antonio, but it's been a few years. All right. Um, then this black and yellow beaded garland comes with an un. This is an unpainted tag, but I painted mine white. You get all the beads. You get the twine. You get the ribbon. And this goes perfectly with our B minis that came out. So this is a new pro I'm going to actually buy a couple more of these. I bought this. I got that in our summer bundle. Real quickly, we have the um, I Lift Mine Eyes scripture with the gorgeous mountains and trees and lake. I'm so excited to use this one. Yes, I'm excited for the bees. This is called Herbs. This is 11 by 11. So each of these is like uh four by what five and a half and these are really pretty you can use these for lots of things five by seven milk can use the whole thing use just the cow use the farm fresh five by seven happy birthday cupcake this one is iron sharpens iron from proverbs 27 i just did this one on a tank top for working out and then this one's called Myself. Sometimes people tell me to be myself, but I always get into trouble when I do it. This is actually last year's summer minis, but um, they are still available. I didn't have them, so I ordered them. And then the new summer minis for this year are coming out. What else is coming out? We have another bee stencil sheet. Um, it's called Honey Bee Quads. I'm going to see if I can show it to you right here. It's really hard to see, so you'll just have to go to my website. But we had some shelf sitters that came in a set of four. There was a hexagon, a square, a house shape, and a tag. And these stencils are made to fit on there. We have another 15 by 15 um, 
all over pattern called Asian Floral. And what I'm going to do is, um, if you're not already following my Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page, you're going to want to go over there and follow that. I'm going to put pictures after I get off here of all the new things that will be available tonight. Okay, I'm going to do that after I get off the live. But what I thought about doing tonight, oh, I know the bee quad is so cute. Oh, that would be fun, a bee-themed coffee bar. Yes, the scripture ones, uh, all the stencils, they're so, they're so great. What I wanted to kind of talk about, though, was Craft Club. I'd love to know if any of you are a member, any of you that are on here are members of my Magnolia Craft Club. It is a monthly club. This actually, this was last month's kit. It's an exclusive stencil, a surface, the paste or uh, ink, the squeegee, and all the other little doodads that you need. Yes, pants in craft club. And then because I get two, I get my creator one and then I get one for my daughter. I did this one kind of in a bee theme. I can't remember if this was on Facebook or on YouTube, but it was really fun to make. So craft club is awesome because one, it is a great way to try out Magnolia products um, because you get everything you need all in one. Hey, Mama Latina of two. Yeah. If you just go to my website, monarchmomdiy.com slash, oh, it was a Zoom. Okay. Slash um, craft dash club. And actually I put the link in the description under the title of this video. You can go click on that there. It'll tell you all about Craft Club. It is $22.99 a month plus flat rate shipping. You get everything you need. Sometimes it's a chalk paste project. Sometimes it's an ink project. So the one for this month, what you get are these wood red and blue pennants. You get the stars and stripes stencil, white chalk paste, the jute, some fabric. You're going to see me use this and a squeegee. It is way, a good way to start a stencil stash. Also because the stencils that come in the craft club are exclusive to craft club. You cannot go on my website and buy this stencil. The only way you can get this right now is if you are part of craft club. And I've already made, so I've already stenciled my blue and red pennants that came in my craft club. I'm going to finish putting the garland together. Also, I've already made an additional project using the stencils. We did this two-sided cutting board last week using our beautiful new dragonfly stencil. And then on this side, I did the stars and the stripes from Craft Club. So, um, I think we have a couple people on who, because someone was asking how Craft Club works. So, you, you go to my website and you just add it to your cart like you're placing an order, and then every month on that same-ish day, it'll go through, and we do ask that you um, stay at least for a minimum of three months. But let me just show you some of the other projects we've had. We had this little mason jar one, and everything came with it. I can't remember if the beads came. It might have just been all of this. This was a an ink project with the zipper pouch. Really nice lined zipper pouch. Um, this was another garland. This was an apple garland. It came with You're Awesome to the Core. And I can't remember what the other option said, but there was another stencil option. We had a pennant banner. Whoops, coming unmagnetized here. This is our magnetic pennant banner. You can actually purchase refills of the fabric and then change out what it says. So this was an ink project. Today is a great day to have, or a good day to have a good day. All sorts of things. We have these spoons with the kitchen minis. What else did we have? We have this Valentine truck. We had an apron, tote bags. What else is in here? Oh, this was a Christmas garland. It had these Christmas trees. And the stencils were this Joy 
and it's all tangled up because it's been in this bucket and the buffalo plaid so i had this across my fireplace or you could put it on a bookshelf or whatnot this was last year's around uh the summer the magnetic one is an awesome idea oh yes yes these are really cool these come in two sizes and the top and bottom have magnets and then you can just change out you can buy refills on my website of the actual banner and then um, just be able to change out what the banner says so that is my plug for craft club and i'm actually actively looking for 10 people who want to join my craft club this month and try it out i know there's a couple on who did already sign up this month and that is just awesome so what i thought we would do is if you have any questions about craft club um i can answer those i want to finish i want to show you how i finished putting this banner together i'm just going to put them on the twine that was provided because it all comes in one kit which is really awesome yeah check it out and then let me know if you have any questions about craft club there's a bunch of us here that do it and um let me grab some tape really quick i also offer at least once a month a special zoom craft club party where anyone who gets craft club from me or is a creator on my team we, I send out a Zoom link and we craft together. Uh, sometimes we have 10 people, sometimes we have two people, um, but it's just a fun time to get together. Um, hey, Shannon. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I just put some tape on here, but probably didn't get it tight enough, is I'm just going to string my flags here. And I'm going to have it so the string is on the back, I think. So we're not, goodness, what did I do? So we're not seeing all the string across the front. Another fun thing, um, something that is restocking uh, tonight as well, are the Freedom Minis. And those are just like the other minis, except they're all like patriotic themed. I've seen some people have added those to their craft club banner so maybe on the back side or maybe every other one you keep it the plain color and you put um one of the freedom minis on that's a really fun idea as well so does anybody have any questions i'm not seeing chat there i'm not seeing oh there we go anyone have questions about craft club or anything i've talked about All right, so we're just stringing, oops. I didn't get the blue one on all the way. I only got it halfway on. So what I was also gonna say is you get 10 of these, but let's say you have a smaller space that you want to um, use for your banner. You could just take five or six of these and put them together on your banner for a smaller space and then save the other ones or make another small make two make two banners that have five pieces each and give one to a friend um craft club is also a really fun thing to do with people so maybe you have some friends who like to do crafts together hey natty and you want to all order craft club and get together once a month to make something really fun. My, I can't wait for my mom to get back here from Arizona so we can do our crafting together. Some of you have met her when she's been here doing uh, an auction with me or craft club. The mystery box day. Oh, okay, that video is going to go live here on my channel on May 31st. So I, I uh, received the box from the subscriber who was chosen and she sent it to me. 
So I'm going to film me opening the box. The video will be everything. It'll be me opening the box, showing you everything that's in it. And then you'll also get to see what I make with the items. So that'll be pretty fun. I'm excited. Excuse me. My app is really dry today. Does anybody else love Fresca? Whew, so refreshing. I love me some Fresca. All right. So my, I have to decide what I'm going to do with my other craft club kit. I will make that this Friday. Um, on our Zoom craft party. If you are part of my craft club, you will get an email with the Zoom link. I hope you'll join us. And even if you don't have this month's yet, because I had to do it kind of early because I'm going to New York with my daughter for qu her choir New York trip. Um, so I will not be in town the last Friday of the month. But you can work on anything you want. It's just a fun time to get together and we're all working on different craft projects and chatting and it's really fun. We talk about what's going on, what craft projects we're working on. I have a feeling there might be some people that have been getting craft clubs for a while that maybe are a little behind on making their projects. So that would be a great time to bring those projects, sit down in front of your computer with us on Zoom, and get some of those done. All right, I think, can you see down here? Let's show you what I'm doing here. You don't need to see my face for a minute. So I'm gonna have these all strung on here. I'm gonna try and have them all. Okay, there, I got the end of the string. They give you a little more than you need, but I'm gonna spread these out so that there's about an inch of twine between each of my flags. Because then what I'm gonna do, that fabric that came, who is that, the paw mom? Come to the Zoom and bring all your projects and you can get them done. So the fabric, we ripped it into pieces and then what you're supposed to do is you can tie them between each of your flags so it's just another fun little extra double knot those and then they're going to hang down between each of our little pennants here super fun super cute very farmhouse. Okay. So you'll just want to try to get them um, evenly spaced. And they're pretty lightweight. So this is not going to be super heavy on. Oh, hey, Erica. Did you change your name on? I don't remember seeing that name before on YouTube. So Erica, plan to join us on the Zoom so you can be motivated to work on your past craft clubs. You could really just crank them out. This is really, really cute. I am loving this. And if you think about it, we got Memorial Day coming up. We got Flag Day. We got Independence Day, all sorts of, I know people who decorate patriotic like for the whole summer. I think it's fun. And some people keep Americana out all year. So this could be used for a long time. Okay, you did change it. It's not my imagination. Annette, you're behind too. Ooh, cool, Carlene. I want to see your picture of yours. Post it on the um, Facebook group. The 
Mag my Magnolia VIP group. I'd love to see your what you did with your banner. I think I should start having like a contest when people post pictures of their projects, their craft club projects. Because you do not have to do it the way that it says to do it on the instructions. You can take the pieces and do your own thing, whatever you want. I probably don't have to tie these twice, but I started it, so I guess I'm going to keep doing it. Okay. And we, we ripped this into 11 pieces. So there should be enough to do them all in between and one on each end on the outside as well. Okay, Amy, you're going to be there then on Friday to get caught up on your craft clubs? Maybe I need to send an email out to anyone who's ever been in craft club. Bring your unmade projects. Maybe we need like an all day, like craft-a-thon. I don't know. Would any of you want to even do that? That would be on Zoom. That would be for getting caught up on craft clubs. I don't want you guys to buy the craft clubs if you're just gonna if it's just gonna sit there. Lily, you would do it. That would be fun, huh? If I was just on Zoom all day and you guys could pop in and say hi. I would have to have little breaks though. You know, obviously. Ooh, Erica wants to do. It. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at my calendar. It'll have to be in June because already May is getting really crazy. All right, here's my last two. I'm going to do one on this end. That was not in the middle. That's okay, right? That's farmhouse. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, one on that end. And my last one back here. I just think that this, I love all the stencils that come with the craft clubs, but I feel like this one with the patterns of just the stars and the stripes is so versatile that you can use for so many things. All right. I know not all of this is going to be on camera, but grab it. Isn't that adorable, you guys? So substantial for $22.99 and it's a fun craft project and then you can display it and have this awesome project that you made so good for your hands, your brain, your emotional well-being to make things that are fun to do and do it with friends. So let me know if you have any questions about craft clubs. So Yes, it is very fun. And remember the the cutting board I already did with the the stencils as well. So I think what I want to do is um, I salvaged this cross. It had some words that were kind of handwritten on it. So it was originally from Hobby Lobby. It's MDF. It has a hanger. So I started out, I just painted it all white. And then I thought what I might do is paint, like, somehow do a diagonal of blue up here. That'll do the stars. And then the rest of it, I'm going to do the stripes. And then um, I think I have a, I'm pretty sure I have a stencil that says God bless the USA or something like that. So let me get a straight edge. Not sure where my ruler went. It's probably under my craft club. Yep. My craft club bucket. Okay, so let's show you what I'm doing here. I just want to show you how versatile the craft club items are. Like how you can take the stencils and use them over and over. Okay, I think I should go corner to corner. What do you guys think? And make that my line for the blue. 
And then I'm going to keep this white and do red stripes. Um, okay, I don't have painter's tape right here, but I have my scotch tape that I used for the string. So I'll just put this down. Hopefully it won't take the white paint off. And we're going to paint this top part blue because the stencil is just the stars. So we want the stars to be white on the blue background. All right, so this is Ocean. It's Waverly chalk paint color. And, you know, I kind of might do it kind of streaky where I'm not doing full on solid paint. Might be able to see a little bit of the streaky. I kind of like that more rustic look. The other stencil we have that would be really pretty on here is the um, America the Beautiful sheet music. If you guys were here when I did this, this was one of our new stencils also this summer. You get the sheet music is one half and then the eagle with the flag is the other half. And I layered those on this banner. Oh, really? Ooh, I'm going to have to go check out Hobby Lobby then, Shannon. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to pull up this tape. And look at how nice and crisp that line is. So nice. Okay. So we'll kind of let that blue dry. Let me grab my... I want to grab my Freedom Minis to show you. So these are the Freedom Minis that are back in stock tonight as well. I think this God Bless America right here would be really pretty like down in the bottom corner. Once we have the stars and stripes on here, I think that would be really nice. So because this flag, this cross is so big and my stencil is the size that it is, I'm going to have to place it one, two, probably three times to get all my stripes on. But that's okay. That shouldn't be too hard. And I'll use Old Glory Red for my red stripes. And then for the stars, I'll probably have to do... Mm, Probably one, two, three also for this, this top corner right here. Hobby Lobby bought up what? I'm, I too am wondering what Hobby Lobby bought. What did Hobby Lobby buy? Oh, goodness. Sorry, I'm so thirsty. Did you all hear that? Tita, what are you... I'm not sure what you're saying about Hobby Lobby. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with my stripes. I have fuzzed this one quite a bit because I've used it a number of times. So I am just going to want to come up here high enough. Actually, I'm just going to come right here. And I'm just going to have to move the stencil. It's okay. I might have to clean it in between the bot. I'm not, I'm not following that, Tita. Okay, so Old Glory Red. Love this color.
Okay. So we'll do one pass of the stripes and I'll peel it off and show it to you. And I feel like it should be pretty clean on the back that we can place it again. Okay, but I want to let that dry a little bit so that um, I don't pull up, but you guys can see here. So there's one pass of the stripes and then I will line them up again to continue going. Let's see. Because I can see through, and I can press it down with my squeegee, then we'll continue this on. Did we figure out what was being said about Hobby Lobby? They don't always come out perfect, but I think it looks good. And I keep forgetting on YouTube, I gotta angle this down for you guys to see what I'm doing. So I probably should, ooh, that's still really wet. I don't wanna see how it'll get, it'll get more on there. So I'm gonna clean this. I have a little water over here and then and then I'm going to dry it off with with the inside of my tacky towel. I'm going to use the little sponge. This will help get the paste off. I don't usually wash my stencils when I'm doing a live because you can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, here's my tacky towel. And on this gray part on the inside, I can do a quick dry with my stencil. Oh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Huh, that's interesting. I don't know that I would buy, maybe I would, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna come up here now and I'm gonna finish mm, most of my stripes going this way. Looks like I'll need one more on the bottom. And because I can see through it, I can line up where the red stripe was over here. And get a clean one. And we're just gonna finish this side of the stripes. And then this, well, I have to come back to that when it's a little more dry, but you can see I'm going to need a couple more right there. And let's see if I can 
do another row. So what I do is I line it up on the last one that I already did. I line up my stencil. We press it down. We're gonna get all the air bubbles out by using the back of our squeegee to press down our stencil. Get out any air bubbles. Okay. Hey Jackie. Okay, so now I just have this little spot, this little spot, and this little spot. And I think I'm going to just clean my stencil off again. My water is getting very red. But I'm using the stencil cleaner and that really helps get the paint or the chalk paste off of the stencil. Just kind of rinse it. And obviously I will rinse this with clean, nice clean water when I'm all done with it. So we'll stick it back in here again. Oh, thanks Jackie. Hey Liz, hey Sean. Welcome. I'm so glad my first time doing a Tuesday night YouTube live, people were able to come on. Yay. Hi, Vicki, welcome. All right, clean stencil again. I'm gonna come back up here. That's not quite dry. You know what I wanna do actually? Let's give the stripes a little bit of a break. And let's work on some stars. So, um, I think I'll do the same thing. I'm going to line it up at the same angle, the same angle that my stripes are. And we're going to come in with white paste. Make sure we're down really well. Avoid the air bubbles. The thing about your projects not turning out how you want them is you gotta practice. Gotta practice. Practice on something else first if you want. Okay, again, because our stencil is small and our cross is kind of big, we're gonna have to lay our stencil down a couple times, but it's coming along. We just have to keep, keep moving the stencil. And I think once that dries, then we just line it up again, you know, move it over. but I want it to dry a little bit before I put the stencil back down. Okay. All right, let's come back around. I do have my heating tool if I need to speed things up a little bit. Okay. 
So let's finish going this way. Got that lined up. A little bit more paste. Finish this corner. Awesome. That was easy. Okay, then I can come over here and finish this corner. I'm getting paste all over my fingers. just have this one little spot here. I can just flip it around to a clean spot. Two little stripes here. All right, and we're done with our stripes. It's looking pretty good, I think. Just need to finish up the stars. Oh, there you go, Annette. Okay. Let's see here. I'm just doing it like this. Oops, nope, I did it this way. So now we're just going to kind of move it over and I'm just lining up the stars. Okay, and then we'll finish this corner here with white. Then, these are little partial stars. Well, you know what, that's still wet, so let's come over this way. Kind of like putting a puzzle together, isn't it? Piecing it all together. Good. Got my pencil stuck. And Almost there. You probably can't even see it, but I have one little spot here that I just need to add like one star to finish this corner. And you won't even be able to tell that we had to place this stencil like, I don't know, how many times? Eight? I don't even know how many times we placed it down, but there it is. All done with the stars and the stripes on the cross. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? So I hope you see that 
yes, the craft club projects are amazing in and of themselves, but then you can reuse the stencil for other projects. And really, you're only limited by your imagination. I want to get a blue, uh, like a navy blue ball cap, and I want to put stars on one side and stripes on the other side. Love this. And then we're thinking the, I mean, you could do any of these, but I think I'm going to do the God Bless America probably in black so it stands out right down there. What do you guys, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys like that idea? All right. So remember, Craft Club, you can still get the May Craft Club kit. This awesome, where's the end of it? I folded it up. The banner kit that has the blue and red banners, the fabric to go in between, the jute twine, the stencil, the chalk paste to stencil these five blue and five red banner pieces. And then you can use it, um, use the stencils to do other things. Like I just did this cross and also did this cutting board. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions about craft club. Like I said, I'm looking for 10 people to join new this month. So um, once you do that, let me know if that's you. And I may have an extra little goodie to send you this month. So I will be back on Facebook tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, follow my Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page if you don't already. And if you want to find out what the new things are that are releasing tonight at midnight, um, I will be posting them there in just a little bit. So thanks everybody for joining me. I'll be back on YouTube Thursday night as well. See ya.